today is brought to you by some Christmas bells with the mistletoe. My hair looks ridiculous. So every morning before I take my meds, I'm a little anxious and kind of a little over the place, but because I don't want to rely on the medicine, I don't let myself say instantly go to taking the medicine and try to soak in these feelings and thoughts for a little bit and try to practice a little bit of controlling it. I've gotten better, but it's still not good. You know, the medicine obviously helps and I take it for a reason. But my initial thoughts are I'm not really happy with my initial thought for what this video is gonna be. So rather than just sitting here sulking and anxiety, I'm trying to just move and do things that would benefit both Avery and I. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I have to find time throughout my day to record these videos, edit the videos, all of it, right? And um, I have somewhat of an idea of what I will be talking about every day, which helps a lot. <laughs> then there's things where like, oh, this would be a great idea. Except I don't have time to do that extravagant, extravagant idea. I should have um, done something ahead of time or whatever, right? So learning that way. So today's prompt was 10 ways to stand out. And you know, you could have thought of like 10 ways to stand out as a YouTuber. Uh, my initial thought was 10 gift ideas for a vlogger, something to that regard. But I can't help but to have this existential question lingering over me asking, why do you want to stand out? Why should you stand out? So whether we're talking or discussing standing out in terms of employment or romantic relationship, an individual as a profession trying to seek clients, standing out refers to being different than all the others in an impactful way that entices the stakeholder to want to choose you over any of the other possibilities. I think the way to do that is to be the best, most authentic version of yourself. And I think that's especially true in this world of filters, highlight reels, and just showing the good times. I think there's an appetite for authenticity that brings this feeling of ease and familiarity. And I think the familiarity comes from seeing a little bit of ourselves, a little bit of yourself in other people. I wanna get my staff some gift cards for Christmas and I wanna make some custom card holders, if you will. They know I like Star Wars and I like Stormtroopers, so I'm gonna make some Stormtroopers, but how do I make them different? How do I make them stand out? In order to do that, I get elements of something they like. So two of them like Naruto, so I'm making Naruto and Kakashi, and uh, one of them absolutely loves Stitch. Going back to my existential questions from this morning, I'm having a hard time telling you specifically how to stand out because I can't help but to feel that if I tell you how I do it, that's my way, therefore not very original. And I think the best way, and you might not like this answer, 
to stand out is to be yourself because no one else is you and therefore you stand out from all the others. And if you didn't like that answer, I guess, well, you could try wearing 10 different hats in a video and see if anybody notices. What the f- My wife discovered AI today. Looks nothing like us.